How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. It's finally spring in Pennsylvania. It's green. You can see it. It's beautiful. And we got a new car on the channel. You kind of knew this because you saw it in the uh, Copar walk around video. Um, and uh, and we, we actually bought this accidentally, kind of. Uh, well, I didn't even buy it. My, my brother bought it. But yeah, I, I still get to drive it and work on it and fix it and stuff. Oh, don't look over. Oh, no, don't look over there. Stop it. All right, because um, there's another car that's on the channel too that was just bought as another rebuild project. We just can't stay away from them. Um, anyways, but this one right now we are going to go over that one too. But right now we're talking about the Saturn Sky that was just purchased from Copart. Um, done just a little bit of work to it, um, and I'll explain that here in a second. But let's uh, let's take a walk around. All right, so hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. We uh, picked up a 2007 seven Saturn Sky. Uh, as you can see, this is not the damaged side. It is not perfect. Um, I believe it has, uh, like, let's see, 80-some thousand miles on it. I'm not exactly sure. It's pretty dead. Let's see if it will show up. Um, no. All right. Anyways, it's under 100,000 miles. Oh, you know what? It's on this window. But uh, anyways, it's under 100,000 miles. Um, you probably saw it on the Copar walk-around video. Um, but... Uh, Pretty good shape. It's got a few little things. Like you can see, I think these are a common problem for going bad because this one's off and the one on the other side's all nicked up. Um, and uh, otherwise, the body's pretty clean. The uh, paint is peeling up all around the, like, this protective coating stuff where the top sits. Um, here's where the damage is. Hit on this door. Um, pretty good, but didn't actually get to like the inside too much. Like The inside is still all good. So I think we can just pull off this outer piece replace it and be good to go doors are around 300 bucks so not a problem if you saw in my last video the bid was win for 2700 dollars plus fees um we're hoping to be all in on this guy definitely for somewhere under like you know uh four thousand something like that so uh should be able to do that maybe not with paint maybe it'll go over it a little bit um let's uh, let's look under the hood so under the hood here, we got a 2.4 liter Ecotec. It is not a powerful engine by any means. Uh, this is just a fun little car. It's not like, it's not real fast. They did have a faster one. This is a very, very base one, as you can see by the cloth seats. Um, no real good options. The steering wheel isn't even leather, um, but it is a five-speed manual, so that's pretty awesome. Um, engine runs really good. Transmission shifts well. Um, everything that way works really, really well. All right. So as you probably saw, my last video was in the Syracuse dunes in Kansas. Um, it's, I was out in that set part of the country, Colorado, Mo Moab or uh, Utah, Moab, um, Kansas area, um, for like 12 days. So this video <laughs> is, I'm back now. Um, but I'm going to throw my Moab videos in after this one. And my dunes one was before that. Um, but this car got delivered before I left. Um, I just didn't have any chance to work on it. So I, my brother, uh, Lance who bought the car, he actually started working on it. And here's some of the footage of just the little things he did so far. I'm hoping that this morning, even though this tire is probably shot from being hit, I'm hoping that the piece of uh, wood that's shoved in here, maybe I can break the bead and remove and actually get this tire to actually seal up to be able to drive it and test drive it. Um, the tires are completely bald, so they need to replace it anyway, but uh, maybe I can get it on the road temporarily. Let me get a little view underneath this thing now that I have it jacked up. I did notice that uh, some of the stuff was not quite as good as what I originally thought it was. Um, not... Not terrible, but I might need to get a couple of different parts that I didn't necessarily bargain on. So this little panel right here, which just kind of superficially covers this area. There's really nothing behind it. There's like a battery behind here. Um, it looks like it's cracked down here at the bottom. And actually, now that I'm looking at this car, I'm a little surprised because um, one of Saturn's big selling points, one of the things that they always talked about was their dent-resistant panels. Um... And this one is made of that same material. It's not really a fiberglass. It's some sort of plastic that uh, Saturn used. Um, but the door is actually dented. The rocker panel is actually dented. They're actually metal, um, which kind of surprises me. I did not expect on a Saturn to have those panels made of metal. I actually thought they would be that normal Saturn dent-resistant stuff. So, um, okay. So looking underneath here, um, definitely crunched and hit pretty hard here. Um, this is into the rocker panel that we were talking about. Um, but uh, once you actually get down under, 
this frame rail section here is where I was concerned I might have trouble. Um, it does look like it is crunched in, but it does not look like it is um, a total loss or anything like that. I think I think with a little bit of uh, frame pulling and such that we can get that back out to a uh, tolerable place. So um, take a look at that and get some of the covering stuff off and go from there. But yeah, there's a few kinks along here. The floor pan's a little, a little kinked up here. Um, but I don't think... It's a total loss situation. Um, still don't quite understand what exactly this is all made of down here. Unless it was hit twice. There's like this stuff flaking off. Um, maybe it was on a pre in a prior accident. And this is Bondo work from when it got hit before. I'm not sure. This is the bottom edge of the door. That's pretty obvious what that is. But um, this stuff here looks a lot like some sort of Bondo. And... Uh, I guess that means that maybe it was previously worked on or hit, so I'll figure it out. All right, I got the tie rod reinstalled there. Um, overall, pretty happy with that. I I really think it came out nice compared to how it looked before. I'm going to show you one last little trick here, uh, something that I learned a couple years ago whenever I had a car that I needed to get 20-inch uh, tires mounted on, and nobody had a machine to break it uh, in the little town where we live. Um Basically, if you get anything with some sort of pressure on the edge of the wheel, it usually uh, will break it loose. Well, in this case, I want to get all this wood chip stuff out of here and the tire's kind of jammed up against it. So I'm actually going to just try to let the weight of the vehicle right here with this uh, brake uh, uh, rotor down onto the edge of the tire just to push it down. And I think that'll free up enough that I can pull this wood out. And then we'll see if this tire can be at least uh, aired up enough to drive on. All right, I'm doing this live, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can do this safely while holding the camera. Uh, nope. Vehicle doesn't have enough weight to really break it down. Doesn't seem, all the, all the weight's off the jack and it's still, still kind of jammed in there. So maybe I'll have to try something else. All right. <clears throat> so I was able to wedge this piece of wood here in the car and actually got it to push down enough to get all of that out. There's still a little bit down inside here. I got to get maybe a different area broke loose, but it is mostly cleaned out. All right. So the wheel's definitely not straight, um, but it is a lot straighter than it used to be. Compared there to this side, you can see it does stick out a little bit but uh, definitely enough to be drivable so um, just jumped it here and fired it up we will uh, go see if the tire will take air if it does then I think we'll go on a little test drive well the uh, trick of getting all the uh, debris and the I guess it was like telephone pole materials out of the uh, wheel worked good looks like it's holding air um, don't know if it'll hold air forever. The other good news is um, I looked around the other tires and they're all really not that bad. Um, but uh, it seems like it was really just that rear one. And I'm wondering if that's because they um, did a lot of spinning out and that's, you know, burning out. And maybe that's why uh, that one tire always made traction. Here we are, maiden voyage. Seems to be running all right. The sun is blazing this morning, man. I can't see anything hardly with the sun, but uh, I'll see if I can hold this and shift a little bit. Let's see. Pretty sweet. I love it. It's a fun car. All right, so as you can see there, um, not a lot of work to get it driving again. Like, it wasn't a run and drive because of the wheel being bent, but... Um, you know, it's not perfect. It definitely it would need aligned and like real work done to it. We know that that's not a final fix. Um, but we're not sure exactly what's going to happen with this car yet because honestly, it's it, he's into it for a little bit too much money um, because the cars are only five or six thousand um, dollars, anyways. And to have four to five in it uh, makes it just a little bit tough. So he might just sell it as is. We're going to find out. I don't know. I, I think it's going to get fixed. But um, you can see the little bit of stuff he did, just that tie rod and the getting the wood out of the tire. Um, 
got her on the road and we took it for a drive it drives perfect like no check engine no no issues engines quiet transmission ship just perfect um so uh couldn't be happier with that all right now that we got the saturn sky covered let's move over to the chevy sonic now this is a awesome car I mean, this is gonna be the most exciting rebuild we've ever done hopefully this gets as many views as the sam crack dxp car that's not going to happen, but um, it is Inferno Orange, and it's a five-speed, so we're getting sporty here. Um, so this is a 2012. It literally just ticked 70,000 miles. It's like 70,007. Let's see if I'm right right now. Um, open up the door. Right there. 70,000 miles. There's the manual. It's got some junk in here. Uh, pretty good shape. Runs really, really well. This wheel is pushed back. Um, no airbags are blown and it's just this little bit of damage right here. As you can see, we got the radiator support or, you know, core support just as a little bit pushed back here, but not too, too bad. I think we'll be able, especially because of how thin of metal that is, <laughs> move back. And then this A arm down there, you should be able to see is all sorts of bent up. Um, there's probably some other suspension stuff down there that's broken, but, um, ultimately, this car is going to make a really, really good little runner. Um, and the interior is clean. Check it out here. Like, it just seems like a really well cared for little car. I mean, obviously, they're not worth a ton of money or anything. Um, but just as a runner, um, I think the final bid on this one was 1100 bucks plus fees. So I don't like the door handles up here. I can tell you that much. Um, but actually has more room in the back than you would think. Like, look. I mean, I'm not a tall guy. I'm five foot eight but uh i still got plenty of space here and that seat um has a fair amount of space up there too so no complaints sorry for the abrupt change of scenery there i'm back at home now as you can see um i actually did an outro and everything there but went to upload the video and all my ending outro footage and things were gone so um anyways really um excited to get these two cars um, back on the road we actually started working on um, the Sonic a little bit there, and uh, it's coming out pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, so that video will be coming. Uh, I'm going to have three, two, three, I don't know, uh, Moab videos. If you're into off-roading at all, please watch. They're, it's, it's so awesome out there. Um, but they're going to be coming up next. Um, then we'll be back to sort of the normal content um, for the channel. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely check those out. They're pretty fun, and I already uploaded the one of the Dunes. Go check that one out. It hasn't gotten great views yet. So uh, it's, it's worth it. I promise it's pretty fun. Uh, we rolled over a racer. So you got to check that out. Um, anyways, Chrysler 300, still going to be working on it. Um, it's just on the back burner for right now. We got, I have too much other stuff going on, um, but I do have some plans for it. So it's not, it's not going anywhere. Um, just haven't, it's going to be a little bit before I get back to it here. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.